We're ready. Let's run a test. Here's what we have. We have an ISO 594-2 figure 5 reference fitting, which is hooked to the adapter, which is hooked to the torque sensor. In the chuck above, I have a needle, which has an ISO 594-2 lure lock female end. The chuck is fixed up there. On the weights, I have the 27.5 newtons of force applied up there. What I'm going to do is, is bring this down by hand until it is set on top of the reference fitting. The two are together. You will notice that once it is together, there is a amount of space here. I've got about half inch of space here. Don't need a lot. It doesn't press much. You will figure out exactly how much you need as you do it. I will turn the meter on. The meter comes on and it zeroes out. I have already set the set point to the equivalent of 0.12 newton meters of torque and in that case, in this case, as we know, that is 12 newton centimeters. Off screen where you can't see, I push the counterclockwise button and it turns. The meter is counting up. We're at 4, 10, and it stops. You may want to set the newton meters, the newton centimeters of torque at 11 and a half so that it doesn't go over the 12. That's a call that you can make. The standard requires the 0.12 as a maximum. Once it got to the point, it shut off. It's done. I now well loosen up the chuck so that it has released the needle and I pull it forward. I take this piece right out, the whole piece end together, take it right out, disconnect the adapter, like so. And now I have got an assembled test piece to a reference fitting that I can do the next level of testing as the standard requires.